Hey there, I hope all of you are doing great. So I just received a question on my YouTube and it's regarding how to send a poll or a quiz using the Telegram bot. Okay, so in, in past we have uh, discussed uh, about a lot of topics about sending messages, about sending audio, video and stuff like that. But we haven't really discussed about how to send a poll or a quiz and that's the question which Jim is asking. So I'm just going to answer that question and for that we are just going to keep it very simple. I hope you have already watched my previous video. So uh, what I'm doing here is um, I'm not going to tell you how to create this bot and all. Okay, I hope you have already watched that video. Uh, so I'm just starting it, uh, starting the program and initially we are importing uh, two modules which we need and the base URL is going to be this. So this is the URL and then this is your token ID. Just make sure you don't share your token ID with anyone. If you do share your token ID with anyone, just make sure you uh, remove or just create a new token ID. Okay, You don't want someone else using your bot. So that's the reason you shouldn't be allowing someone else. You, know, you shouldn't be sharing uh, your ID with someone else. And then we need to use a send poll endpoint. Okay, and that is uh, how we got this information. We got this information from uh, Telegram documentation. So whenever you want to search for something, go ahead and search in Telegram documentation. Uh, that's the best way you are going to learn it. Okay, try to understand this technical documentation. Try to understand what they are trying to say in these documents. And then it's going to be very easy for you. You don't have to rely on me or any other YouTuber or any other, you know, any guy on Stack Overflow to answer your queries. Okay, you can just read everything from the documentation and you can help yourself. Uh, however, uh, so this is the endpoint which we are going to use. And if you see the syntax here, what they are saying is if you want to use send poll, you need to use uh, this method and then you need to pass the chat ID. Chat ID is going to be the group ID or the individual chat ID to which you want to send this poll to. Okay, so if you want to send this poll or vote in a group, you need to make sure the chat ID should be equal to the ID of the group. And then uh, we are going to pass question and in the question we need to pass the question uh, which we want to ask and the length of that question is going to be between 1 to 300 characters. And then we have options. So options you can pass list of all the options which, uh, which user can select and it is going to be a JSON serialized list of answers. Okay. So what we have done here is we have passed the chat ID and chat ID is chat ID of the group. And this is the group which I'm using right now. It is called Hello World Training. And you can see here there are some sample questions which I have already created. Uh, so yeah, you can just ignore this for now. And then uh, after you pass the chat ID in the question, you can write any question which you want. So the new question which I'm going to write here is, uh, are you investing in Bitcoin or Ethereum? Okay, this is just a random question. You can have any question which you want if if you are. Uh, probably if your telegram uh, group is related to you know blogging you may have questions related to blogging or if it is related to studies you may have questions about those topics and then in the options as you can see here in the documentation it is written it should be a json serialized list of answers so this is a list which we have created and in this list we have two options okay bitcoin ethereum you may have any other options as well and since it needs to be json serialized so in order to do a JSON serialization, we can use JSON.dumps. So this list we are going to put inside JSON.dumps. And that's it. I mean, once you set these options, you are good to make a request. And in order to make a request, you can just use requests.get and pass the base URL, which is going to be this URL. And then in data, you want to pass this, you know, whatever this uh, payload which we have set. And then when we run it, it's going to, I'm just going to run it now and we will see a new, uh, a new uh, vote or poll being sent here. Okay, so I'm just going to run it. And here I'm also printing the results. So you can see here everything is okay. There is no error. Uh, so now we can go here in the telegram group and you can see we have got a new uh, vote here or questions here or poll here, whatever you call it. And it is saying, are you investing in Bitcoin or Ethereum? And you have option of selecting either Bitcoin 
now since i already selected bitcoin i do not have option of selecting ethereum okay so you can see that in total there are one vote and now you can see the result of the vote as well now let's see uh, there are some of the other options which you might like to use so here you can see whether it's going to be is anonymous or not okay whether anonymous uh, whether someone uh, can vote to it as anonymous or not you can set it to false if you do not set anything it's going to be true so if you go here and you see here uh, next to our question it also shows anonymous poll okay so this poll is being set as anonymous uh, so let's say if you want to let's say you want to make it non-anonymous so in that case what you can do is you can just set is anonymous so i'm gonna set this i'm gonna write is anonymous and you need to set it to false okay and let's run it again okay so we got success there is no error now we go here now you can see we previously we had anonymous poll now this time we do not have anonymous poll okay so this time if i write bitcoin you have option of uh, seeing view results and if you click on view results you can see who are the members voted for bitcoin and who are the members who voted for ethereum or any other options okay uh, so that's how it works now let's explore some of the other options which i guess might be useful for you so other thing which we have is type whether it's going to be a quiz or it's going to be a regular poll so let's say if you want to make it like a a quiz where it's gonna be the right answer or wrong answer in that case you can make it uh, you can change you can set type to a quiz okay so what i'm gonna do is let me go ahead here and write type i'm gonna change it to quiz and this time we are going to ask let me ask a question and how much is how much is 2 plus 2 okay so this is the question and we are going to give some answer so we are going to give uh, we are going to give some options so i'm going to say 1 and i'm also going to say 4 or let's say 2 and then probably we want to add one more options where we are going to say 4 okay so we know the correct answer is uh, third element so we also need to when we are setting type to quiz we also need to specify which is the correct answer okay so in order to do that we need to do correct we need to set correct option id so we need to go here we need to put we need to put correct option id and you need to tell it which id which option is the correct answer so in this case we can see third one is the correct answer now since list starts with zero index we need to tell that it is the second index which is correct okay so whichever option uh, you think is correct just do minus one so in this case third element is the correct answer so i'm going to do three minus one which is two okay and i think this that looks okay we can now run it hopefully everything is okay you're going to see a success message yes everything is okay we see a success message now we can see here we have we have a question which is asking how much is 2 plus 2 now let's say if i'm going to answer 1 here you can see you can see it is telling me what i have answered is incorrect and the right answer is this one which is 4 and also i have option of clicking on view results you can see how many people voted for 1 how many people voted for 2 and 4 and so on okay so this is how it's going to look like this is how you can use poll and quiz options now in some cases you may also want to give some explanation okay so you might want to set explanation and let's see what it says in explanation text that is shown when a user chooses an incorrect answer so this is the answer which is going to be you know shown this is this is the text which is going to be shown if someone is selecting a wrong answer so what i'm going to do is let's set this option here and i'm going to call it learn some mathematics and just run it again and everything is okay we have received a new quiz i'm just gonna select wrong answer which is two and you can see we also get learn some mathematics okay so this is the explanation which is it is showing so this is how it can show it to all the all the participants who are participating uh, participating in this quiz uh, 
so i guess that's all that's the important things which we had you can also probably set some closure date for your uh, for your votes or poll and yeah i guess if you just want to make your poll for running for two days or five days you can set the close date uh, which i'm not gonna show it here but you know how to set it you know how all of these options are gonna be set up just read the options here read the parameter name and set that to the data type which is mentioned here in the description and the type and then everything is gonna just work fine so this is a small little piece of code which which i'm using and i think the code is pretty small i don't think you are going to face any uh, issue typing this code uh, i'll try to however give the link of this uh, collab as well you can run this code in Ju uh, you can run it on jupyter notebook you can run it, run this code on PyCharm, you can run it on uh, Colab. You can use Colab if you don't want to install any software on your machine. You can just go to Google Colab and uh, sign up and then you can directly go ahead and write this code and it is going to work. Okay, so that's all in this lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to write in the comment box and I may not be answer. I may not be able to answer you on the same day, but I try to answer it probably at least in a week or twice a week and I try to take up all the questions. So thank you so much, see you again in the next video.